Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Matt, also known as Wonderful. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am a video editor, videographer, and photographer in the New York City area. I primarily do work in the music field. I love shooting music videos and just even performances and stuff like that. Um, I want to get into doing tutorials for editing um, in After Effects and Premiere Pro, so this is the first video that I will be doing in that series. Um, for the fir very first tutorial, we're actually going to be doing um, a masking transition. So an example of that effect, um, I actually did it in my Business and Pleasure video with Freaky Flares back in the summer. So as you can see, it zooms into this clip and then it reveals this next one. So you have to have two clips for this transition um, and it's gonna require a bit of masking. So you wanna hop into After Effects and uh, have your two layers. So this is clip one and this is clip two. You wanna begin by Control D to duplicate your clip one. So let's just rename that. Clip one, just so we don't get confused. Actually, clip one, mask. Then you want to go over here, just trim that layer. Okay, so now what you want to do is select the clip one mask layer, go over here to the roto brush, it'll bring you into the layers panel, and you want to start at the very beginning of that layer. And you're just gonna come in here with the green uh, plus button and go frame by frame, masking out the portion of the video that you want to have the next clip be in. And then from there, you're gonna zoom in with an artificial camera and reveal the next clip. So it's pretty cool, but it's a little tedious because you do have to do um, masking frame by frame. So in your version, you're going to want to be a lot cleaner with the mask, but for the tutorial's sake, I'm just going to do a rough job just so it can go a bit quicker. Okay, so to go one frame, you can just do page up and page down on your keyboard, and then when that happens, you know, you just go to the area to get rid of the area that you don't want you press alt which makes it red and then you just go like that drag in the area that you don't want okay. almost there okay you gotta fix it This is a really quick transition, so it's uh, best that you don't do it for too long because then it kind of will look, you know, a little jarring. All right, so you want to go throughout the entire duration of that clip one mask layer that you made, and then you want to click, go over here and click the little freeze button. So what this is going to do is it's going to go frame by frame, you know, freezing that part that you masked out. As you can see, it's kind of like a little wonky, but like I said before, you're gonna wanna, you know, really make that nice in your video, especially if you're looking to, you know, gain recognition for, you know, these cool effects. So now you're gonna wanna go over to this uh, source window so you can see your actual composition. And you're gonna wanna go to clip two and control D to duplicate it and press enter to rename it. And let's just rename it clip to freeze frame. So for this, we're gonna be going to the time. So right click on the layer, press time, freeze frame, All right? So you wanna go 10 frames in advance. So you do shift control, left arrow is 10, 20, 30, that should be good. And then you click the begin bracket to snap it over. 
go over here. You can trim this layer so it's alt end bracket. So you trim the layer. And let's drag that below. Oh, we're actually gonna have to go in here, unfreeze it, and then go into your effects control and you want to invert it. So everything outside is gonna be the affected, except for that. So then it'll be like a picture in a picture. Then depending on your computer speed and the length of the mask will determine how quickly this part will take. All right, so it's pretty much done. Now let's go back to the source window and you can see that it's a pretty rough job, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, now you can actually press P for position and move over to where you want to be like within the mask. So I want him to be in the mask. Uh, then click clip one mask, go over to your effects control and you can feather it, which will you know make the edges a lot softer and not as you know rugged. You can place with the chatter. And for this sake, I'm gonna increase the shift edge just because you know it was a, didn't do the best job masking. But again, like you should really take your time with this, especially because if it's pulled off correctly, it will look awesome. Right, but, yeah, so if you replay it, you can see that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Then you can add a nice little um, fade in. So press T on your keyboard for opacity. And then go 10 frames, so shift control, right arrow key. Make another keyframe. Go to the beginning one, zero. You wanna make sure you're doing that in that clip two freeze frame. And then you wanna to go to the first one, make that zero. So then it looks like a gradual fade in. Next, you wanna right click in your composition, go to new camera. For this, it doesn't really matter. You can play between the different uh, millimeter lenses you wanna use, but for this, 50 should uh, work just fine. Then you wanna trim the camera layer, so Alt, begin bracket, and then Alt, end bracket. Extend that out a little bit more. And then you wanna open up its properties, so hit this little arrow, transform, and let's just set a keyframe for all of them. And we wanna have it zoom in. So you're gonna press C on your keyboard until you get that, because that's zooming in. And you wanna make these layers, all, you wanna make all the layers 3D, because the camera only works with 3D layers, because you're playing with uh, 3D space. And you wanna zoom in with this tool, then you can press C until you get this one, and drag it over. So you fill up the frame, keep going, keep zooming in. Okay, then you hit a blank spot. Then you're gonna wanna go back out. So then you can just copy these properties and then it'll zoom out. All right, so, but it's gonna go over there, but you want it to be on him. So you're gonna actually have to make a quick few adjustments. So you wanna go back over to this tool which moves the position. So just press C on your keyboard and it cycles through all the different tools. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit just so we can see where he is. Okay. We're gonna zoom back in. So it goes to like his face and it's like real quick. 
Right, so you can play with the speed of them. So if you highlight the keyframes that you made and you press F9 on your keyboard, then you go over to the graph editor on your timeline and you can zoom in, play with these. So I wanna make it kind of like more aggressive and like snap instead of like a gradual zoom. So I'm just gonna click on these, drag this part in, and see how that looks. Okay. Okay, it's not terrible. Now let's add a adjustment layer. So right click, adjustment layer. You can trim the adjustment layer to the same length of the camera. So it's alt begin bracket, alt end bracket. Then you want to go to your effects and presets and look up um, light burst or it's CC light burst 2.5 and drag that onto your adjustment layer. So for this, you want to go over to your effects and controls panel, go to the very beginning of your adjustment layer and go to your ray length, put it to zero. Press U on your keyboard while you're selected on the adjustment layer. Go about till it, like it, the zoom is starting to get really aggressive and you can bump up the ray length. So I'd say probably like 10 to about 20. You can, depending on how aggressive you want it, like if it's a very fast zoom, you might wanna ramp it up even more, but it really depends on the speed of it. So next we're actually gonna change the center to the door. So now it's gonna be fading into that point to give the effect a little more of a nice look. And drag that in. Yeah, it just sells the effect a little bit more. Um, it's very subtle and you can also add an end point back to zero for the ray length and you're gonna have to keyframe the center position because as you had to do in the camera you had to drag the center position back over you're gonna have to do that for the uh, light burst as well because he starts on the right side of the screen when you're zooming in and then he's on the left but you want the fade to be coming from him instead of the uh, original position so you just have to go over to your effects controls and just drag it over to the area where he's standing but make sure you set a keyframe at the very beginning for your original position, for the original zoom in, and then for the zoom out, you want to adjust that. So set that same keyframe, go one frame forward, and then just drag it over. You can adjust it, that was a little bit off. But you get the idea and then it's good, goes to normal. So you can always just play with the speed of the camera. That's the main thing that's really selling the effect. So I'm actually gonna adjust it so that that is going this way. Yeah, you can just keep playing with the effects, you know, until you get it to the exact way that you want it. 
Oh, that's a lot better. And then you can even add like a sound effect, like a whoosh sound effect to even sell it even more. Um, you can even go in and on the clip mask one layer, go in and add like flame effects or really anything. Um, so if you have like the universe plugin, you can go into like the text one and add like uh, an ecto effect, which is kind of like a flame effect. And it'll give like the door a nice outline. So that's really trippy. Um, yeah, man, you can really do anything with this one effect. It's just such a, like a big building block to like so many other effects. So like just masking in general is, you know, a very crucial thing to throw in in your music videos or just like any videos because it's a great way to transition between clips. Um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment. See you next time. Thank you.